spell drew me relentlessly toward the river. I knew then that this was to be my last night on earth. I had the feeling that no one would care whether there was one less mouse in the world or not. Saved! Snatched from a watery grave! Why? Who? Someone did care, and I had to find out who it was. <laughs> Lo and behold, before me stood a king-sized mouse. He was as big and as strong as the cause of my misery. Sylvester the Cat. Sylvester the Cat. That gave me an idea. I explained my problems, and he agreed to help me. So we started back to my house of terror. got a job. I keep Bankless out of here. You gotta keep Mouses out. And it don't look good for no cat to be trun out of the house by no mouse. So get in there and trun out the mouse. your own good cat. Get that mouse. Wait, let me explain. I can't get that mouse. He's this big and hops around like this. Cat, your eyes are shot. You're seeing things big. You need glasses. 
Here, put these on. Now, when you sees that the mouse is teeny, you'll get your self-respect back. Now, walk right in and take over, cat. He's safe. Nobody hits a guy with glasses on. Of course, I could be wrong. Well, no use sending a boy on a man's job. Now, don't you start anything or I'll grow big and kick you out. Oh, yeah? Grow big, then. That's a good trick, Mouse, but it won't save you. Well, go ahead. Kick me out. I dare you. Time a mouse can pin my ears back. I'll take up ballet dancing. <laughs> well, I see you got your ears pinned back. Come on, cat. We're taking up ballet dancing. <laughs> 